Hi guys, what's up? Um, welcome back to the episode of Nick's Garage, and today I am going to be teaching you how to combine two 120 volt lines on different phases into a single 240 volt line. So now this is the final product. What you can see here is you have two male um, cables that you plug into your two different outlets. Um, they feed into this box that has a outlet, um, a 240 volt outlet. And the thing here is, this is actually a 120 volt outlet, but the 240 volt outlets are very expensive, you know, at Home Depot, like $10. So I just use this guy instead. Um, I'll basically, right now, I'm gonna run down the theory and um, we'll get back. So what happens is breakers span a hot neutral ground. So this is a 120 hot, that's a 120 hot. And you have a series of breakers, right? And you know, voltage is defined as the difference in potential, okay? So when you have a sine wave, basically, you know, it will um, look like this and the peak will be 120, the top is negative 120, and at any given interval, the distance between the curves is always going to be 120 volts. And that's when you pull a breaker from one of these sides. Now, if you pull a breaker from another side in your line, these two lines are 180 degrees out of phase. Um, so you kind of have this, right? And now at any given interval, um, it's 240 volts peak. I'm sorry, it's all peak, 240 volts peak. And the reason is that, you know, if you pull two outlets from the same side as the panel, um, you're not going to get 240 because you're just going to have that one sine wave. You have to pull breakers. You have to plug into outlets on breakers of opposite sides of a panel. And this basically works. be showing you how I built this box. And it's going to be kind of like a dissection video. But first off, I want to show you how to wire the plugs. Now, the important thing is to know which is the neutral and the hot of your plugs. And that's kind of hard because some plugs are like universal or whatever. And the plugs are the same. So you really don't know. And the way you know is you look at the screws. Gold screws mean hot, and silver screws mean neutral. So that's how you know how to wire your thing. So now let's get back to the meat of things, the box. So the way the box is, you feed your two Romex cables through. And as you can see, you know, I used yellow Romex, which is 12 gauge. And that's more than sufficient to power this 20 amp outlet. So if you're plugging in anything beefy, you want to look at a wire and pass the chart to match your um, wire gauge with the amount of amps you're drawing. So now let's go into the wiring. Okay, so I created this diagram to help you guys out. And um, basically you could see we have the two Romex cables, number one and number two, and those would be on opposite phases. And it's not in this diagram, but those orange Home Depot plugs I was talking about earlier would be um, attached to the ends of those two cables. So then what you do is you feed these two cables into that blue junction box and this diagram shows how to wire it. So basically you're going to take your blacks, and um, which are the hots, and you're going to take the hot from Romex cable number one and you're going to attach it to the silver screw, which is the, um, the neutral bar. And then you're going to take the other hot from Romex cable number two and you're going to attach it to the gold screw, which is the, um, the hot bar. And then you're going to bridge the two rounds together and you know it's a ground because there's no real insulation on it, it's just this paper stuff. And then you're going to take the two grounds, you're going to attach them together at the red cap, you're going to cap them up, and then you're going to run an extension ground from the cap that you did to the green ground screw, and that's very important. You need to have some the wires on the green ground screw, otherwise if something goes wrong, the electricity will go through you and not the ground. And then the whites we left alone because they're not used in 240 circuits. Neutrals are not used in 240. Now you can see the finished junction box and I labeled 240 only just to make sure that no one plugs anything stupid into them. And you can see our two lines on different phases feeding the junction box. And now I'm just going to confirm that the thing indeed does actually get 240. And you get our 240 volts. Hooray! And you can see the completed outlet. Okay, so guys, thank you, and if you like this video, I um, mean, make sure that you hit the like button. And if you didn't, then also make sure you hit the like button, too. And, um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is just a side note, but basically, um, this is the actual bike trailer that I took to Home Depot to buy all the parts for this build video. And, um, also consider checking out our um, website, nicksgarageinc.blogspot.com. Basically, what we do is we sell custom industrial mod modern furniture um, for anything from small houses, you know, to large contracts for restaurants and stuff. So, um, just, um, yeah, just stop by. And if you have any questions, just contact us at 100turtle at gmail.com. And thank you.
and have a fantastic day.